Hello, and welcome to Postgraduate Open Day at Trinity College Dublin. Uh, my name is Professor Peter Stone. I am the course director for the master's course in international politics at Trinity. And today I am going to be talking to you a little bit about our master's course and why you might want to consider taking it up and studying with us. So in order to do this, I'm going to talk to you about four simple questions. Uh, there's a what question, a why question, a where question, and a how question. Uh, so the four questions I have in mind are the following. What is international politics? Why should you study international politics? Where should you study international politics? And how do you study international politics? How should you go about doing that? So let me say a few words about each of these questions today. So let's start with the, the sort of big think question. What is international politics? Well, this is a tough one. I'm going to give you the definition that I use every year when I teach politics at Trinity. I like to say that politics is the part of our lives where we decide how we are going to live together. Uh, it's the part of our lives where we have to think about the terms on which we're going to cooperate with each other. What are those terms going to uh, involve? Um, and that's obviously a very expansive definition. It takes into account all kinds of parts of our lives. Politics happens in our families. It happens in our workplaces. It happens within political parties, within other associations in our, that we belong to, uh, within our trade unions, our business associations, within our governments, our states, of course, and at the international level between international organizations like the UN, within NGOs, within Within doctors without borders, without all kinds of groups. And so as that uh, implies, international politics is just politics on a global level. What happens when we do politics uh, at the highest possible level uh, on earth? And Politics at that level, uh, or at any level, includes a great many things. It includes war, of course. War is what happens when we try to come together and decide how we're going to live together and fail. We have a major breakdown taking place. But we, all, uh, you know, international politics is also going to include such things as negotiations, diplomacy, trade, and all kinds of other topics that relate to the way that we go about deciding how we're going to live together. And with this definition in mind, it's very easy, I think, to answer the next question, which is why? Why should you study international politics? Why should you care about international politics? Why should you want to know more about it? Well, I think that question is very easy to answer. Um, as you've probably noticed, uh, we have a pandemic going on, a global pandemic, COVID-19, and this uh, is having an enormous impact all over the world. And politics is intimately bound up with the impact it's having because we get to look at the world and say, why are different states dealing with this uh, well or poorly? Some states are doing with it better than others. Why are they dealing with it better than others? That's a question of politics. Uh, why are states cooperating or failing to cooperate? Why does the cooperation work sometimes and not others? Uh, these are questions of international politics of great importance. Uh, and there are all kinds of questions like that, questions about the success or failure that we have on the international level when people come together and try to find terms uh, on which to live together. Uh, that involves all of our serious efforts to address critical global problems, like, for example, climate uh, change. Uh, so these are all uh, questions that are of great importance and they're deeply bound up with the study of international politics. And as uh, the example of COVID-19 illustrates, one of the reasons why international politics is so darn important is because the world is a very interconnected place. Uh, politics in one part of the world affects politics in lots of other parts of the world. So if some idiot with a buffalo head uh, goes nuts in Washington, D.C., that has impacts all over the world. Uh, politics is a very, a very interconnected uh, phenomenon in the world 
right now. And that means that international politics of necessity is bound up with politics everywhere. So if you're studying American politics, uh, you're also studying a facet of international politics in a sense. If you're studying Russian politics or Chinese politics uh, or Irish politics, you're studying international politics in a sense. Uh, you, same would be true if you're studying the politics of the UK. If you look at Brexit, of course, politics in one part of the world has an impact on politics everywhere because the world is so interconnected. So hopefully I convinced you that po international politics is important and that there are reasons you might want to study it. So where might you want to go about doing that? Well, as you can probably guess, I'm going to talk about why you might want to study it here at Trinity College Dublin. Uh, this statue is a statue of Edmund Burke. He is one of the most famous people to study politics at Trinity College. He did so over 200 years ago, but he is uh, a, a, a sort of a symbol in many ways for the study of politics at Trinity. But of course, you shouldn't study politics at Trinity primarily because Edmund Burke did. That'd be a pretty lousy reason. Uh, there are much better reasons for taking up study here. Uh, Trinity College is a very international place. It's a very uh, 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 interesting place that has an international reputation. Uh, Times Higher Education rankings ranked us the 17th the most international university in the world last year. Uh, and uh, we are uh, have a reputation as a department as well. Uh, we are, of course, Ireland's premier research university, and we're also, I think, Ireland's premier place to study politics. Uh, if you look at the uh, latest department rankings uh, just coming out this year for the top 100 political science departments in the world, you find Trinity College Dublin there. Uh, and you'll see our department ranked alongside uh, other uh, top uh, political science departments at top universities around the world, including such top universities as Brown University in the United States, Durham in the UK, Humboldt University in Berlin in Germany, Northwestern in the United States, Manchester in the UK, and so on and so forth. Now, there's another reason why you should study politics, international politics at Trinity College, and that is the way that we go about studying international politics. And that brings me to our fourth question, which is a question of how to study international politics. If you want to get a handle on international politics because you think it's important, how should you go about doing that? And here, Trinity has a very definite uh, approach to it. Um, we teach problem-driven political science. Uh, problem-driven. We encourage you to ask questions about what are the things that we need to understand about our political world? Uh, because when you find a part of the political world that we need to understand, you've identified a problem that we need to solve. Problems like, why are some countries richer than others? Why do some trade disputes lead to war while others don't? Why do right-wing extremist parties attract voters some places but not others? These are all problems, uh, and they're, of course, vitally important problems problems that we would like to find solutions to. We'd like to find answers to these important questions. And so what we teach you to do at our department uh, in our international politics master's course is we teach you about specifying problems in international politics and solving these problems using a variety of tools. And we're going to give you a good toolkit for approaching uh, problems in international politics. Um, some of those tools are going to be uh, uh, quantitative research methods, uh, statistics. That's an important part of what we do. Every student who comes to our program uh, gets a thorough introduction to the basics of the use of quantitative research methods. Uh, we teach you how to use statistical software like Stata to learn how to uh, deal with the analysis of political science data. Uh, that's an important part of your training with us, but it's not the only part of your training, of course, with us. Um, we also, you know, are happy to have to see you use other important tools. Uh, this is Thomas Hobbes's uh, Leviathan, of course. Um, Thomas Hobbes had a great deal to say that was relevant to the problem of how international politics works. So if you think there is insight to be gained from Thomas Hobbes, uh, by all means, that is another way that one can go about trying to solve political science problems. So let's talk about how the course works. Um, it's a one-year course. Uh, if you take it full-time, it's two years if you take it part-time. Uh, you begin by taking three mandatory modules with us. 
Uh, you'll take a module on uh, international conflict. You'll take a module on international politics more generally, which is like the sort of general grounding to the nuts and bolts of international politics. And then you will also critically take a course on research design, where we teach you uh, the nuts and bolts about how do you uh, come up with a political science problem uh, and then solve it, and then figure out what are the kind of tools you're going to need to solve it, and so on and so forth. Uh, so that's a very important part of your training. Um, that's for the first term of your study with us. In the second term, uh, you would have one more mandatory module, and that's our module on uh, quantitative research methods. And then you would get to choose uh, f uh, four short optional modules, five weeks long. These optional modules vary every year. We try to offer a, a good variety. Uh, the nut specific number we offer every year varies, but we always give students a nice variety. It's one of the nicer things students say about our programs. When we ask students what they like, they do tend to like the uh, variety of optional modules we present them with. Uh, the specific options vary each year, uh, but we have offered uh, modules on topics like economic development, environmental politics, European Union, global justice, human rights, political extremism. Uh, uh, these are all kind, these are just a sampling of the kinds of topics that we cover in these modules every year. Uh, while you're taking uh, these modules, we will um, assign you to a supervisor. Uh, who will have interests similar to yours, and you will begin work on a dissertation project. And you'll work with your supervisor, you'll develop the project, and this will lead you to produce a dissertation. Dissertation will be due uh, in August, uh, and it will give you a chance to demonstrate that you have developed high quality skills in quantitative, or not in quantitative, in any kind of research methodology. I mean, you know, as I said, the most important thing is that you have learned how to uh, come up with a political science problem and then solve it. And so, of course, the most important thing we want you to take away from this is that we are accepting applications right now. Uh, we very much would encourage you to apply to us. Um, let me just say a quick word about what we normally require. Uh, we invite students which have an undergraduate degree which would have within the Irish or the UK system the equivalent of a 2-1 uh, or better. Uh, in the American system, that's about a 3.3 GPA, I believe, uh, or so. So we're looking for qualifications that are kind of like that. Um, we welcome applications from students from any background, from any field of study. Um, some programs insist that you must have a background in political science. We don't require that. Uh, it doesn't matter what your previous field of study uh, has been. Uh, you know, obviously, you know, you, you uh, might find it a little easier if you have a background in something like political science or social science more generally. Um, but we start from zero. You know, if you're a smart, motivated student and you want to learn the, these kind of skills, um, we will welcome your application. We'll start from zero. We'll get you everything that you need uh, in order to learn how to do high quality political science research. We have rolling admissions. Uh, we admit review applications as we get them. Uh, the deadline is the 30th of June, so uh, we need your application before then. And beyond that, um, we have a lot of information about our course on our website, and we encourage you to go to our department's website, where we have a whole section on the master's degree in international politics. Go take a look at that. Uh, go take a look at our frequently asked questions page, which you'll find if you go to our uh, master's course website, and you'll find lots of information about the course and how you apply and what we're looking for. And above all, we are happy to talk to you if you are interested in this. Come talk to us. Have a conversation. Uh, here's our email address right there. Email us, express interest, and we will happily have a conversation with you. So thank you for listening. Uh, we hope you enjoy the postgraduate open day, and uh, we look forward to your applications. Uh, take care, and bye for now. Mm -hmm.